Hello YouTube, this is Rochelle, aka Shelly White. <laughs> um, today is day 25 of my juice fast. <laughs> okay, um, so let me tell you what's changed and what is going to change in the future. Excuse me. And um, I'm going to try and make this quick because the camera has cut off on me three times now. In the middle of me recording. So. Physically, what's changed? Weight loss. I lost about 15 pounds. Um, my injuries, which was the original purpose for starting this, are like virtually non-existent. Unless I put incredible amount of weight on either side of my legs for a very extended period of time, or I stretch them to a point, you know, where I'm going back, I guess, to where the original injury point was. But other than that, I feel fine walking now. No more braces, no more limping. I feel wonderful. Um, I'm going to the gym more because I have more energy. Um, I'm staying up later and waking up earlier because I have m less sleep and better sleep. Um, my tastes have changed, but let me uh, make this clear. My tastes have changed in the sense that I don't get... Um, I don't get the same pleasure out of uh, out of fatty foods that I do out of vegetables and healthier foods. I just um, and that's also like a physical change in just my digestive system because now when I eat unhealthy foods and I'm going to tell you that I have ate some over the last couple of days that I haven't uploaded. Um, when I eat healthy foods, I literally get a headache. My stomach starts to churn, like absolutely everything. But when I eat healthier foods, I can eat regular sized portions and feel full and feel content and feel happy that I'm eating it. And it'll be delicious to me because now I know, you know what to add and how to cook healthier and not feel like it's bland. And um, I don't need to be overstimulated by a million pounds of salt and sugar. And I feel great about that. But let me tell you, I'm still battling with a food addiction. And not only just a food addiction, but just 20 years of, you know, training and teachings that I had to retrain myself because I'm really not dealing, you know, I'm not living with two nutritionists. I'm living, you know, with my parents who have been this way since they've been kids, just like me. So I'm trying to reteach how I think and what I like to my own brain. So um, I'm still dealing with that. It may even actually be a physical change, like I said, where I get a headache and my stomach churns. But if you've been eating macaroni and cheese for the last 20 years of your life, or if you've been eating steaks with onions and peppers for the last 20 years of your life, and then all of a sudden in 30 days you just don't eat it, your brain's not prepared for that. So you're still just trying to adjust to it, and that's where I am. And um, that change is going to come sooner rather than later. I believe God for it. And I'm just going to keep pushing and keep trying to uh, uh, change my mindset towards certain foods. Okay, um, so that's physical. Now mental, um, like I said, I, I have a different outlook on um, certain foods. Let me tell you. My energy level is like sky high now, and I believe that 20% of that is mental just because this is something that I'm doing for me, something that I wanted to do for me, not something that somebody else handed to me, not something that somebody else looked up to me, suggested to me, thought was good for me, wanted me to get included in, wanted me to help them with, wanted me to do for them, none of that. This is something that I am doing for me because I want to do it. Just that many eyes just makes me happy. <laughs> I haven't been, haven't been able to do that in a while. Be able to say that this is something that I want to do and I'm going to do it. And I'm doing it. And I'm, I'm really happy about it. So mentally that's given me more energy. That's been given me more of a positive attitude on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, there's been a, I'd say a few things that have happened during this that probably should kill my spirit to the point that I just don't want to do it and I just want to give up. Has it happened? has happened because it's something that I want to do for me. So there's been like at least two significant things that I could say. And 
it's whatever. Things happen in life. You got to keep pushing for what you want. And that's what I'm doing. This is my main priority right now. It's just me being healthier and me living the life that I want to live. So, um, so that's mentally what's happened. Also, I feel as though my thoughts have been a bit clearer. I've been able to stay on top of things, um, and plan a little bit better and uh, remember things a little bit better and things like that. So it's been, it's been absolutely wonderful. Also, I've been. don't have the finances to go buy some new books that I actually want I, it would be nice to go into the bookstore and just drop like $175 like I want to because I can tell you about three things off the bat that I want that are about $20 two three books but anyway okay so sorry so anyway um this is this has really improved my life and I'm going to continue doing this now <clears throat> here's the truth Okay, over the last 25 days, I have not been perfect in this. So that's why I only lost 15 pounds. So I only got like a certain portion of the, Oh, oh, I forgot to say my skin has been absolutely phenomenal. Like it's been glowing every day. That's from extra cucumbers in my juice. And also, um, my digestive system has been like perfect. Like no cramps, no diarrhea, no extra firmness, no, no nothing. Nothing, just regularity just regularity and it's been great and that's also coming from increased water intake like crazily increased water like from one bottle of water every other day to over a, a gallon every day <laughs> so it's it's made a significant difference um last but not least uh what's gonna happen in the future um for you know, I told y'all my ultimate goal was to make it to my birthday, which is October 24th, right? So that's probably about, what, like 80 days from now or so, 80 or 90 days. Um, I am sorry. Sorry that I was so hesitant because I have, like, three things going through my head right now. But I'm I'm going to my birthday. But I don't have, like I said, I don't have the finances for books. I don't have the finances right now for uh, produce junction to stock up like literally right now in my fridge I don't even have the stuff that I need to make the juice that I want to make so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to continue juicing every day and whatever vegetables that we bring in I'll be juicing them <laughs> every day it, if we bring in pumpkins <laughs> I'm going to have some pumpkin juice for the day <laughs> okay but I'm oh my god I snorted on YouTube too but um I'm definitely going to continue juicing every day and I'm going to continue to make the healthy choices that I've been training myself to make. And, um, and, and when I get the juice money, <laughs> uh, when I get my, my paycheck to be able to go stock up on, you know, some vegetables and some fruits that I can be juicing, then, um, go back onto my fast. So probably within the next five days, I'll be able to do just juice again because that actually um felt pretty good for me um all right i talked a lot <laughs> for a really long time <laughs> bye y'all hit me up um message me comment request to something whatever